can't believe we went to Yamada's place back to back episodes and both times it's been great. In fact, last time, like the whole Valentine stuff with Moiko trying to cuck Yamada and trying to, you know, be a little mischievous. I think Moiko's doing a lot for us. I think that she's been fantastic this season. She's the ultimate wing woman. Yamada's mom, dad, like the whole couch scene, you know, the thumbnail that I use where they're all playing video games together. It felt like. Everyone else, like we forgot about them. Everyone else is baking chocolates and, you know, Ichika and Yamada, and they're like having like a family moment. Like this could literally be our in-laws. It's just picture perfect. Everything about this is fantastic. Yamada is amazing. Yama mom is amazing. In fact, yo, I want a spin-off series. Dangers in my heart, except the guy and the girl is Yamada and Yama mom. Show me a rom-com story of how those two got together. I would be down for a fucking spin-off series of that, but hey, let's begin today's reaction. Are we still doing Valentine's or are we past that? I love her, man. <laughs> She's just five trips. She's been walking back and forth, and every time they've been giving me chocolates. I mean, fuck it. It's, it's easy farm. I do it too. It's <laughs> called. What's he doing? He's being sneaky. What's he doing? Ignore. You would not get anything if you end this, dude. The only reason that you get chocolates and Valentine's is because of Giri Choco. I don't think so, bro. You need this more than they do. Moiko. <laughs> Immediately goes back on what he fucking set forth to do. Oh, let's get rid of Giri Choco. Oh, wait, you know, early bird gets the early, early bird gets the early worm. It's like, what the fuck? And he just immediately goes and takes the Choco. They are like pigeons, like fucking birds flocking for little snacks. Aww. Oh, oh, no. That's personal. That's personal. No one is giving my man Choco. Not even you, Moiko. Nope. Only Yamada is gonna give Choco to Ichikawa. Oh. Yamada! Moiko knows, Moiko knows. <laughs> the delusion. The cope. Adachi, come on, bro. Fuck. It does. Adachi is the type of dude to go to Starbucks or literally any place where you interact with a cashier and the girl says, have a nice day. She's going to think, oh my God, she's in love with me, bro. Shogi with chocolates? What's that? What's that? What are we doing? Actually playing? Did, did she actually know the rules? No, they're just being chuny. She saw that happen once in an actual show game match, and she just wants to role play. There's no actual rule set. You don't even know where you're placing your fucking chocolates on the board. There is no board. There's no grid. It's a table. After I make a move. Sunlight! What does it mean? It means that the shogi was just an excuse. Just to give each cow all the chakras. Yes, yes, thank you for the chocolates. Say the line! Mm. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. What do you think they are? Now, I wonder what the odds are on where she got those chocolates. Did she get a bunch of chocolates from the other girls and then give those to Ichika? Or did she actually make them? Because they don't, I don't think those chocolate packaging looks like she made them at all. No, those are shit that you just bought at the store, I think. What? Hello. Oh, yoink! <gasps> Hara! Oh! Kanzaki Hara! 
人のチョコを羨むとは違うよ I'm so jealous of the chocolate. No, no, no. Jealous of, you know, it's like a classic, you know, relationship thing. High middle school shit, right? Beyond the school, you're doing this private one on one. Yamada, you got something ready for each cover or what? <laughs> no, I feel like there's something symbolic, something traditional about doing that shit at school, even if you did it away from other people. I just feel like it's just culture, tradition. Oh. Okay. I mean, clearly she has this bag, right? She clearly has this pink bag. She's going to give it to him. When, though? Oh, you're gripping on him. Oh, yeah, when her got nose got smashed. What? Understand what? Oh, the lean! Hmm? <laughs> she's kind of throwing me off too. I need more? I need more time? We still need more what? Is she, is she stalling? I don't know what she's doing. I need more? I'm so happy now. She's happy because of the Ichika Yamada relationship. It's going really well right now. But I don't know. Some sort of preparation is not ready yet. She's not ready to give the gift yet. <laughs> Oh, fancy. Yeah. Oh, there it is. The heart choco one. Yes. Did she give those to Ichika? I, I don't remember what all those chocolates look like, but she did give a bunch of little chocolates away to Ichika. No, that is just the box of the gifts that he got from the Kohais, I think, right? Those are. I thought that Yamada had like extra bag of shit to give. I thought that's what the pink bag was. Because like she gave all the other chocolates first in that shogi match, but it was just like a little joke. But that was just like prep. That's just like appetizer. And I thought the real thing was in here, but no. What else is gonna happen? <laughs> Indirect kiss? Nah, she gonna lick it off his face. Nah, not the same thing to kiss. Nah, 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 nah. It's nice. She gonna fucking lick it off his face. <gasps> oh, cartoon coming. Nah, nah, nah. You got the perfect sunset lighting, but you get it's the biggest fake out. Biggest fake out, bro. Ba bump. She made a heart sign. <laughs> she made a heart sign out of the fucking smudge. Bye bye. Just takes a little lick after two. That's it. No, 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 no. Oh, what's he buying? Is that the one that she actually made? And like, she's trying to figure out. Like, she can't give it to him because she needs to realize. How do I get the message across that this is not a giddy chocolate? That this is meant with pure romantic love intentions? And she doesn't know. It's really simple. It's as simple as you gave a chocolate to each cup because it's you. Right? It doesn't matter if it's a heart-shaped one. It doesn't matter about anything else. It's about the person that gives it to him. But she's like double thinking right now, right? Oh, sunlight! He's back! What did, he buy? what did he buy? Heart bun? Heart choco bun? Melty kiss. Premium choco. Oh, he broke out the piggy bank for this one. This looks like fancy packaging. Melty kiss. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yamada is always the guy. And you're always the girl, bro. 
<laughs> the Valentine situation has flipped. We're not even on a white day yet. Bye bye. It was the chocolate, but Yamada's yeah, chocolate. Ah, all right. Yes, yes. So you go to Dana. Sekai Dana. That's the Yamada. That's it. I'm the Taikimai. Nanda, you melty kiss at the Toroke kiss. Yeah, I mean, the packaging Melty Kiss is a little cringe, but you're, you definitely got the right message across, right? It might as well say, I love Yamada. Hmm? Oh, she's changed outfits? Okay, is she finally ready to give the chocolate? Oh, what was that? Oh, oh I just happened to be here. I just wanted to, you know, switch up my fucking dog route. Oh, what are the odds? You're outside? No way. Oh, wait, I got this chocolate I forgot to give you. Oh, here it is. Bye. Still has the pink bag. Still has the pink bag. Will Wantaro respect? Nope. Yeah, hold that down. What are you gambling for? You should gamble for like two good things. <laughs> it's one's a dud. You sure? <laughs> All right, this is kind of fucked, but for the thrill of it, fucking gamble time. Uh oh, the coffee. No, because the black coffee. You know what that pairs really well with? Sweet chocolate. Bitter black coffee and sweet chocolate. It's a great combination. <laughs> Wonder if that was intentional. I don't know. Sometimes it seems like she's doing stupid shit, but sometimes she planned it ahead. <laughs> Awkward combos. Yeah. She doesn't know how to fucking do it. She doesn't know how to give the chocolate. She's so nervous. This day is literally never gonna end. She's just stalling. Because she's so nervous. And she's so, like, not sure how he's gonna respond to the chocolate. So, we're gonna, like, it might get to February 15th at this rate, though. Yeah, you are. Melty kiss. <laughs> Yeah, from you. Uh. Well, then. No, it, no? not yet. Okay, one title. Hmm? He likes it better. Yep. Exactly. The fucking pancake day. That's why I didn't fucking read your fucking comments. Yeah, he said that. He fucking drank black coffee because he's a poor motherfucker that decided to get the black coffee, right? He doesn't actually like it, right? <laughs> Perfect timing! Oh, the sunlight coming out of nowhere! Did we say that last time? Yeah, last episode when she tested a sample and I was like, you motherfucker, you better say it's good. He's like, it's too sweet, but I wonder how good it is now. But that with the black coffee is gonna pair really well. <gasps> is there supposed to be some sort of mark? On the top here? Does this matter? Or is it just a random pattern? Is it kanji for something? I wonder if this is supposed to mean anything in terms of love. Su. So what? Suck at these nuts? What? Su what? 
Ski? Ah, ski makes sense. Wait, she just ate her own fucking chocolate. She just fucking took half of the fucking chocolate. <laughs> Don't play. I was supposed to be Valentine's chocolate you're gonna give me. <laughs> Alright, sampling it. She's gotta sample it. Oh! But it's not the wrong idea. It's the right idea in this instance. And the entire time was her trying to figure out how do I get the right intentions out? If I give him this chocolate, will he think that it's just a giddy chocolate? Get the wrong idea. All right. Does he get it? It's called say something. Oh, she's crying? Oh, the flavor. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's... That's why I say you shouldn't have said it was too fucking sweet. Nah. I don't know. Obviously, she's upset about the fucking flavoring. No. Just eat it and say it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Another? Uh, 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 that, this is looking like a hug. Another chocolate? Another what? Another what? Hmm? <laughs> this is the awkward... <laughs> such an awkward... <laughs> He's like... <laughs> Alright, get in there. Yamato. Still hasn't ate all of it yet. Does he understand? Goku. Oh! Oh, and it turned into a heart. The, the Su has also now been cut in half and turned into a heart. Yamada likes what? Yamada likes chocolate? Yamada likes what? Me? Oh, these motherfuckers. They do this shit before too. Where they don't finish the carte. They do this shit. I remember that one time. They like gave like 70% of the carte one time and 10 minutes later they finished it at the end, right? So like we're gonna have like another couple moments to like more reinforce the idea that Ramada might like Ichikawa and then it'll be back. Sunlight and then this will be back and then me. And then the episode will end. I thought she looked so mad. What the fuck? Give who? Give her? Give who? Your mom? Who are you with right now? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm a different man. <laughs> Not like you virgins, okay? Getting a giddy chocolate. Me and Kanzaki, we got bitches now. You, you, we, you, you guys are boys. We're men. Yeah. What are you going to do for white day? Oh, he's actually... He actually think that Moiko's one was real. Well, you never know. Moiko Adachi would be an interesting pairing, to be honest. It would, it could be. I mean, that one episode when they went to the manga place together, right? It seemed like they were having fun, but, uh, I don't know. I, I want to give a chocolate to Arachi's mom, okay? Arachi's mom needs to come back to the story. Where, where the, when is the next teacher student council, bro? <laughs> but, like, 99% it is giddy. But with Moiko being so devious and troll, like... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I could see a small sliver of chance that she's fucking trolling right now. V2 fourth gen AirPods lightning port. You <laughs> just, 
just list it. Just, just list the most expensive fucking item that you can get. Present Handmade lingerie. Okay, if he can actually make handmade lingerie, I would actually be amazed. It not be even better. Adachi should steal his mom's lingerie. Say that he made it or he bought it. Give it to Moiko for white day. Adachi's mom will then show up to the fucking school and say, Bitch, you stole my fucking sexy clothing! Like, oh, imagine, imagine that! Oh, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna fucking happen. Could, could you imagine that, bro? Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know, like that. Her out. Who? Yamada hears it! Nah, be proud, bro! Stand proud and yet Lamada no Yamada's eavesdropping. Let her know how grateful you are. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I wish that he would have said something after there, but no, oh, you know what, motherfucker. <laughs> Sunset lighting again. Adachi has no standards. <laughs> I like the girls that like me because I can't afford to choose. So, you know, it's just... <laughs> he can respect the game, I guess, right? He's not picky. He knows his place. He's not picky. Dude, he's actually gonna try to court Moiko. Like, he's genuinely, like, serious about this. And this could turn into a great moment where Adachi and Moiko, like, they could be a thing. Who really knows? Ah. Senpai! So. <laughs> he may have a lot of girls. But the one girl that he wants... It's something that we have. Nah, nah, nah. Senpai washed. Nah. Okay. Oh? <laughs> My man's getting territorial. I like this each car. He, he, he's stepping up to the plate. He's talking a little shit. I like this. Senpai knows. Huh? Senpai knows. Yeah, guess who gave it? He knows. I love how Arachi says my girl. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, he's cooking. When did he become a doctor of love? He understands. He literally broke apart, deconstructed the whole argument. Like, what? He's a sage now. He's a guru of love. Like, he put into words so well about, like, getting to know the opposite sex. Like, it's not just a random, like, you know, object of desire. Like, they're their own individual people with their own unique upbringing. And by finding something in common and sharing even painful experiences and the good ones, that's how you get to know each other. Like, what the fuck? He's coming. Something changed in this boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Adachi the beta has submitted. Ichikawa actually alpha right now, bro. Ichikawa literally putting his balls on the table. Adachi can't hold a conversation right now. He knows. <laughs> Lots of race still. <laughs> Ichikawa. You know it's Ich- You're trying to provoke Ichihara. You fucking know. The lingerie- Listen, the lingerie gift is like- Level 3, level 4, when you get to know someone for a long time and you, you, you are in love, you've been, you know, doing well. Oh yeah, Ichihara is a fake name, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. That was the alias that we went to. But like, what's it called? I feel like, uh, the lingerie could be a viable gift. But, this is way too soon. Especially for Adachi and Moiko. That's something you give, like, a year plus into the relationship. Like, you cannot just start open with lingerie, dude. Mm -hmm. oh! Yo, 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 this is getting so passive-aggressive. Both sides is trying to, like, 
be so passive and shit talk indirectly? Like, oh my god. Wow, that's you. And now it's 1v1. Bye. Oi. Oh. I, I hope Senpai sees this. I hope Senpai burns this into his memory right now. Yo. Oh! <laughs> Senpai indirectly being the best wingman right now. <laughs> Made him actually move. You feel it? Are y'all feeling it? The light's building up. The moment is ripe. We're about to finish the rest of the carte. Yamada likes what? Oh, Yamada. Now to run. Carte incoming. Bye bye. Damn. What bigger message can we send to this guy that, you know, they're together? Like, the girl comes in and yoinks him away, bro? Come on now, it's over, senpai, you know it. <laughs> Jesus, it's bright! Finish the carte! Me. Are you trolled? You... Oh, they, they straight up just trolled with that one. Because they... They did that one time where they didn't finish the card thing the first time they introduced, and then later, a couple minutes later, they showed that. It just says, Yamada likes dot dot dot. Chocolate. Whatever. Yamada likes each card. That's today's episode. Valentine's Day episode. This is really fucking good, bro. Another episode where Yamada cries. I think so far we are three for four, right? 75% success rate that Yamada will cry given an episode of, you know, Dangerous in My Heart Season 2. But these tears are good because it kind of like opens her more to these different insecurities and vulnerabilities that has. The entire thing about how she couldn't give him the chocolate to the point where she's playing this, you know, game of shogi, right? It was all trying to figure out how can I give chocolates to him without making it seem like it's giddy chocolate, participation ribbon. Right? These are important chocolates, but she couldn't figure that shit out. That's why she was stalling the entire time. Very, very fucking realistic, bro. Reminds me of the time when I was trying to ask a girl out to prom, and it took me the entire fucking day of hanging out to finally fucking do it at the end. She's like, Jesus Christ, like, I knew you were gonna fucking ask. Why did you fucking stall the entire day? And I'm like, I don't know! I was just, I was just nervous, okay? Shit, what do you want me to fucking do? But this is a fantastic episode. The chocolate even had the word susu in it, right, ski? I ski that, and then you have to build the fucking muffin, and not the muffin, the chocolate in half, and then it more formed a heart. Fantastic. Another thing that happened here? Adachi? And Sekine, who is more well known as Moiko, he considers her my girl. Adachi has the wrong idea. But somehow, by him committing to the wrong idea, and I don't know if he's gonna get the lingerie, I feel like it's not impossible. It's not out of the realm of possibilities of Moiko and Adachi. It's just, I, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it could definitely fucking happen, but like, we'll have to see about that next couple episodes. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.